Lioness Magazine, the leading digital magazine for female entrepreneurs, is based in Springfield and recently announced that they, along with the Northampton area young professionals, are launching a new series titled Five. Here to explain what that is is Natasha Clark, the founder of the Lioness Magazine and the Lioness Group. Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank you for, for joining me. me today. Now let's talk about this series. It's titled Five. Why five? Five is a good number. Right? I, I felt like I, I have always been a big fan of TED Talks, and I uh, we actually hosted a workshop at Western New England a year ago. The participants loved it, and they asked us what we were going to do next, and I had no idea. Uh, and in between the time of watching different TED Talks, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we did like a speed dating version of TED Talks, right? Mm -hmm. And you got um, five wonderful experts or passionate female entrepreneurs together over lunch, because people like to be fed, and you feed them, and they, they share their ideas on innovation and entrepreneurship over an hour. Um, and I thought it'd be a great thing that we could possibly move around the Pioneer Valley. So that's kind of how that got going. And this, the first one is coming up soon. We'll talk about the details mm -hmm. of that first. Or, but first, let's talk about the magazine, Lioness Magazine. Mm -hmm. It's specifically geared towards female entrepreneurs. How mm -hmm. important is that in today's day and age to have a magazine specifically mm -hmm. deal, um, dealt with them? Believe it or not, there is no mainstream entrepreneur magazine geared towards solely women. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think people uh, notice that right away unless they really think about it. So you have your ink, you have your fast company, you have your entrepreneur. They're technically geared towards men from the style to the content. Uh, they do feature women, you know, every now and then. But I thought it was it was weird that there was nothing just for women. So I emailed some female entrepreneurs I knew and I drew up this really ugly mock cover and said, you know, if this existed, would you read it? And a bunch of them said not only would they read it, that they would love to write for it. So three months later, we did kind of a soft launch, and, and here we are. But um, I think it's important for these women to have their own publication. You know, women business owners, I think in 2013, brought in over $1.3 trillion in the U.S. So why they don't have their own publication was, was beyond me. Talk about the experience of having this magazine since its launch. What has been the reaction that you've received from readers, authors, everyone involved? It's been great. It's funny. When I started, I thought, you know, maybe I'll, I'll create this publication for female entrepreneurs and we'll keep it local. And then we started getting interviews that we never would have gotten, right? We developed a great relationship with Lifetime. Queen Latifah had just remade Still Magnolias, and they gave us a press opportunity to interview her, and she ended up being our cover woman. And then we started getting, you know, press releases from this PR person and this PR person in New York. And then we started getting Fashion Week uh, invites, and so it kind of took on a life of its own and uh, grew beyond my wildest dreams really quickly. And I think now we're just trying to determine how sustainable is it, how do we move it, you know, to the next level, and 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 really uh, make it a publication that's here to stay. And this is really taking it to the next level now yeah. with these series that's titled uh, Five. That yeah. The name of it is Five now. Now talk about the one coming up on Friday. This is going to be the first one. How exciting is that? We're very excited. It's exciting and it's nerv and, and nervousness too, but more excitement than anything. Mm -hmm. um, we're really excited. We have a great group of women that are going to come in and share their ideas and have really raw, meaningful, candid conversations. Um, and I'm just excited to really bring it to the Pioneer Valley. There are a lot of great things going on here. Uh, we're flooded with entrepreneurs in the area. And so it's really exciting to be able to bring this uh, as an extra addition to the magazine, as a full-bodied you know, experience. Now, before we go, I do have to mention, because I just love the fact that you're not brand new to WGBY. Talk about your relationship with WGBY going back <sighs> 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I had uh, finished my time at American International College, and I knew I wanted to be a journalist. I didn't know if I wanted to do TV or if I wanted to do print. And uh, I forgot how I found out that WGBY was having production internships. And I came and I applied and I got in. And it honestly was one of the best experiences of, of my life. The staff here is wonderful. The people that I actually interned with, a couple of us actually remained really good friends. One moved to England. I've been over there. I went to her wedding. It's, so it was an amazing experience where I kind of made lifelong friends. So. I, I always have a special love for WGBY. Oh, that's great. Yeah. From being an intern at WGBY, mm -hmm. the PBS station, to now yeah. launching this female entrepreneur magazine. Mm -hmm. And then what are your plans for the future? Do you have like another big thing that you're going to do? World domination. Yeah. Um, I kind of take it a step at a time. And, and as things kind of naturally and organically happen, expand and take it you know, to wherever it's going to lead. But 
I will say I love living in the Pioneer Valley. I'm a diehard Springfield fan. Uh, and from, you know, staples like WGBY to creating this experience with the magazine, I'm just, I'm happy to call Springfield home. That's great. Yeah. And if uh, somebody wants more information on this mm -hmm. new series, where can they find yeah. that? You can visit us at linusmagazine.com. There's information there. And you can also go to our, our parent site, thelinusgroup.com. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Natasha Thank Clark. you for having me.